TV. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, then I need you to go ahead and thumbs up and you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, fun me? Shady man, man, being in a somewhere. But you already know how we get down. We be on. Welcome back. Back. Hey, back, back, hey. So, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, cousin? Um, y'all, there's so much that we can talk about, right? Um, but uh, I just wanted to have this uh, continue this transparent moment with you guys, right? Because in the last video, I talked about taking heed, right? And I opened up about the fibroids, so. I am just to update on that. I am currently looking for in, of course, African American OBGYN um, and doctor so that we can go ahead and get that taken care of um, so that we can set the ultrasound and do what we need to do. But of course, when I'm, of course, I will take y'all through that journey. Um, and then I did tell you guys that I am getting, I am preparing for a self care day. So, um, it will be consist of it will be a whole week pretty much because I won't be able to do everything in one day like I would want to um, I mean I can but to spread my time and and time management is gonna be you know probably starting from like Thursday up until Monday so you know one day we'll do the facial next day we'll do the massage then I'll be getting my hair and nails done um, and then y'all I'm going to get cute and go outside, okay? I'm going to get cute and go outside. I have not been outside. I have not been outside, okay? So that's a no-no, all right? So, uh, yeah, we're going to do all of that or whatever. So now in the midst of taking heed, what actually started that? You guys know that I do the incubator, right? The Confidence Incubator 2190. Right, you can either do the 21 day course or you can do 90 days, right? And basically, I just help people get out of that stagnant place. I help people build that confidence back within themselves so that they can go ahead and propel forward, right? Because the word of God says that as a man thinketh, so is he. So now, of course, me being who I am, um, I am somebody that practice what she preaches, right? So um, I'm very big on stewardship. I'm very big on stewardship. And one thing I can honestly say is that anytime I go through that depressive uh, phase, my stewardship goes out the window. I don't want to do nothing. You can ask me to do something. I don't, I'll tell you, yeah. Because I do want to help you, but because of how I feel, I end up not doing it or I keep pushing it off, right? And that's not only with people, but that's also with whatever I need to handle. And hence, this is where I'm going where when you delay or when you procrastinate or when you don't get up and do, it end up costing you more, what are you, listen to what I just said. It end up costing you more, whether it's more time, whether it's more money, whether more of what it is. And now, hence, if you would have just did it the first go round, you would have been all right. But however, let's go back to this depressive state. When I go into this depre the, when I go into this depressive state, right? Stewardship goes out the window. So now money is looking funny. Um, things are not getting done. A lot of things are left undone. There's no momentum. There's no drive. There's no stamina. There's no endurance. There's none of these things, right? And then when I end up snapping back out of it, now I'm going to have to put in double the work, right? Double the work so that um, I can go ahead and get caught up and get ahead. So I really wanted to encourage 
um, you know, my cousins, that you you have to be in tune with yourself. You have to know your trigger points. You know you have to know what causes you to trip or what causes you to stumble, right? And where I'm at right now too is like, you know, they say, "Oh, it takes a village to raise a child." But um us adults, we we need a village too. Where my village at? Because baby, where my village at? Okay, that's going to hold me accountable. That's going to push me. That's going to speak life back into me, right? Um, Cousins, where y'all at? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, but anyways, but it ended up costing you more. So, I don't know where you may be at in this season, okay? But I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus, a get up anointing. I pray that the presence of God will rest upon you. I decree and declare that the breaker anointing is loosed in your life, breaking the spirit of heaviness, breaking the spirit of depression, breaking the spirit of anxiety, breaking the spirit of confusion, uh, breaking the, the, the whatever spirit that you may be dealing with that's keeping you in that stagnant place, that's keeping you from not being a good steward. Uh, because we know the word of God says, if you be faithful with the little, then I will cause you to be ruler over much so you got to look at how are you handling what you have now okay now is it a fight yes it is a fight especially for my business owners especially for my entrepreneurs because entrepreneurship breaks the curse of poverty so this is why the enemy is always going to fight you when it concerns your business but i'm here to encourage you okay once again i practice what i preach i i provoke you to get up and continue to speak life but however i do not not want you to lose your momentum. I don't want you to lose your drive. I don't want you to lose your endurance. I don't want you to lose your stamina. Okay. Now, yes, you do need a day or a day, or maybe a day or two where you can decompress, where you can reset and refresh so that you can continue to go ahead and do what you need to do. Right. But however, do not stop. Okay. Because let me tell you, it is not in vain. All the work that you have been doing is not in vain. All right. All the tears, all the sweat, all the blood, it is not in vain because what the enemy did not want to see concerning you, he shall see. What the enemy did not want to see, he shall see. What am I saying? He doesn't want to see you successful, but guess what? Huh, you're going to be successful. He don't want to see you joyful, but guess what? You will be joyful, all right? So what the enemy did not want to see, he shall see, all right? Because you, my cousin, this is your season to get up and press forward because that procrastination, that laziness, that doubt, that fear is going to cost you more in the long run. So I pray that this really has encouraged you, all right? So you guys... Um, if this have encouraged you, look, I'm about to say, so see, praise you, Jesus. Um, we is not pray. We is, <laughs> if this has blessed you, go ahead and thumbs up. Okay. And drop an amen in the comments and let me know that this has blessed you. All right. And so let me show you guys, because we are on the road to 1000 subscribers, right? So currently we are at, let me go to my channel. So currently, so currently we are at 593. Okay. We are at 593 subscribers. And I thank you to my faithful 593. All right. So with that being said, we need... 407 more to hit our goal of 1000 okay so y'all know my channel is all about faith family and life okay um i pr i pray faith family and life and my channel is me being transparent as a minister of the gospel to encourage you okay because i love jesus but i turn up too all right but the holy way the good way the balanced way okay but uh i love y'all all right um i'm about to you know do what i do 
I will see you guys Saturday, okay? Um, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to drop your amen. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so, okay? Because we about to get litty. And to all my candle lover cousins, check out the store. You already know, we got six cents for you to choose from. Um, sizes from three ounces all the way up to 16 ounces. Because that's how we rock around here. Rock, rock with you. Oh, rock. Oh, rock. But I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, you have victory on every side. <laughs> yeah.